In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create full body letter portraits using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Duel here. And as you can see, this is the final output. You can also see other examples as well, like how flexible this effect is and what you can create with it. Now, we will have to make two different selection of the photo. One is the selection of entire body, so we can add in the white background. And second is just the selection of the dress, so we can combine it with the text, okay? Uh, to do that, first of all, let's unlock the background. Double click here, hit OK. Now, to make a selection, I highly recommend you use Pen Tool, but if you don't know, you can right click here and select a quick selection tool. And let's make the selection of the model. Once you are happy with your selection, click on this little icon here and apply the layer mask and the background is gone. And to add the white background, click on this second last icon here and create new blank layer. Then right click here and get a paint bucket tool and make sure color here is white and fill it. And then take this and put it under your model. So now we have a really nice white background. But if I zoom in, as you can see, the edges are really, really rough and it's actually really easy to fix. Click on your layer mask here, right click and then select select and mask and if you have old version of Photoshop just click on refine edge and it's basically same thing and here go and click on the black and white option. So now as you can see edges are rough and to fix it just add in a little bit of smoothness and if it's too smooth for you you can go and add a little bit of contrast to make it you know slightly sharper and that's pretty much it. Let's look at on the original one. Oops. Okay, looks a lot better than before, then go and hit OK. Now we have to make selection of the dress, but before we do that, I'm gonna make copy of this layer. So in case we make a mistake, we always have a backup. So to make a copy, simply press Ctrl J and take this copy and put it under your layer 1 and forget about it, it's just backup. Now activate your layer 0 here and we need to apply this layer mask. So to do that, activate the layer mask right click and then just click on apply layer mask so that's gone and now i'm gonna make selection of the dress and it's the same way you can get your quick selection tool and it should be pretty easy to select because dress is like in red color in front of white background the selection is done now we have to apply the layer mask so click on the layer mask icon and it's gone now as you can see the edges they look terrible and to fix that right click on the layer mask and select and mask again and here make sure your onion skin is active and decrease your transparency so you can see the model in background and here make sure your refine edge tool is active and then just simply paint on the dress like this. Then go and hit OK. So now if I press Ctrl Z, as you can see, the selection looks a lot better. Now we have the dress, but what about the model? <laughs> Let's bring her back. And to do that, make sure your layer zero is active. Then again, press Ctrl J. Then activate your layer mask and simply press Ctrl I. And the model is back. Now if I turn it on and off, the model is on different layer and the dress is on different layer. And this is exactly what we need. Now we also have to fix this little bit of patches and it's super easy. Just activate the layer mask here, get your brush tool and in the color make sure you have black color and just erase it out. And also to make your life little bit easier, right click and make sure hardness is like 70-80% and it will... Now let's add in the text and for the text selection of font is really important. Let's go to the original file here. Now if you look at it carefully there is very little space between lines and words uh, so we can create a proper shape. But on the other hand I chose really big and bold fonts so we can read it properly. So keep those things in mind. Now let's go back here. Now let's start typing. I'm gonna go and change my color to black so we can read it without any problem. And then let's do a click. And first of all, let's write a little word called every. Now, if I double click on my T here, it will select the font. And then you can click on this little box. 
and it will allow you to increase or dec decrease spacing between the letters and it will also allow you to you know move around fonts and and all sort of things so close it now here's another advice do not write everything at once now let's go back again to the original file and if i open up the group every line is written on different layer because it makes it really easy to manage everything if i just want to make the word every little bit bigger i can just activate every press ctrl t and make it big or smaller however i like so make sure that all of the lines are on different layers but at the bottom i have three different lines on single layer because it's easy to manage there uh, now let's go back here and we have the word every and here's one more tip activate your dress layer here this one and decrease its opacity to like 40 50 percent so you can always have idea like where you are placing your fonts and how it will look so now i'm gonna press ctrl t hold my shift key and make it a little bit smaller now whenever you make the font smaller make sure that little bit is always outside it will help us to have more definition in the photo so make sure little bit is always outside Now to add another line, simply press Ctrl J, select your move tool and hold your shift key and place it down like this. Hold your shift key so it doesn't go anywhere else and stays in line. So place it here and once your move tool is active, you can use your arrow key to move it around. Now to change the font, just double click on the T and now you can write in anything. Then confirm it, press Ctrl T, Hold your shift key and make it bigger. Now I'm going to fast forward and fill up the entire dress like this. It can take some time, so have some patience. All the text is ready and now we have to group it. And to do that, just click the layer on the top, hold your shift key and click the bottom text layer like this everything is selected and then press ctrl g so everything is in a single group and now we can also go and activate this layer 0 and make the opacity 100 now take your group 1 and put it under your layer 0 like this after that activate your layer 0 right click and select create clipping mask and the dress will only show up inside the font now as you can see there's a lot of text that is going outside and we have to fix that to do that Make sure this layer mask is active, then hold your Alt key and Option if you are using Apple, then drag this layer mask and drop it on group 1. And all the outside text is gone and we have this really nice definition. And that's pretty much it and this is how you create full body letter portrait. Now since you are watching this video, you might be interested in learning more about graphic design. And we all know it can be pretty costly to learn graphic design through institutions. So what do you do about it? I suggest that you try using Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community. Think of it as Netflix, but for people who want to learn and create something. A premium membership can give you access to over 20,000 classes. You can learn anything from graphic design, illustration, photography, video editing, and much more. An annual membership of Skillshare will cost you less than $10 a month. Now I know, what if I sign up and I don't like it? Don't worry about it. Skillshare has an offer for you. The first 500 people who click the link in description will get two months of free trial. So don't waste your time and click the link in description. I hope you find the website useful. And I also hope that you find the video useful. And if you did, hit that like button. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below. If you want to check out more videos by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the update. Until then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.